Hello, welcome to the shop. Uh, my name's Kevin. Um, we've been out here playing with the uh, with the mill today. Uh, you'll have to excuse my ghetto arrangement here with the uh, power supply and the other mill in the way because I haven't been able to finish up uh, installing my uh, American rotary phase converter to be able to power up the, uh, the new uh, tree tooth UBR mill. Uh, but a friend needed to get some uh, Claro walnut cut for uh, a barrel channel for a specialty pistol. It's a uh, basically a rifle action with a short barrel that's built into a pistol. Um, there's a lot of wood involved with it. A um, big piece of wood, much more than your typical handgun. It's more like a rifle stock. Uh, but it's a lot of work for him to do by hand with a router and he wanted a little bit of help with it. So we came over here, we set it up on the Gordon and the O16A super speed mill and got things going. Um, it did a pretty good job, but we were a little pressed for time, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to bring out the camera and really shoot some video of it. I did get a couple of the larger passes in with the, with the large uh, inch and a half um, uh, radius cutter for a, a, for a router, and then a one inch cutter as well, one inch radius for a barrel channel. Um, we did have to go in an inlet just a wood blank to be able to accept the recoil lug and the, and the action itself as well as the barrel channel. So there was a little bit of work and we didn't get to finish up till a little after nine and he's got more than an hour's drive home. So uh, yeah, we were impressed. Um, forgive me for that. Uh, anyway, it's a little unusual to be able to find a mill like this that uh, it kind of looks like your typical, maybe a little bit short vertical mill. Uh, but the low speed on this milling machine is 1,400 RPM. Uh, the high speed is 12,000. Um, it's a little excessive for most uses. Um, I've run the uh, variable frequency drive to be able to slow this thing down. This big monster 1952 one horsepower motor doesn't really mind a whole lot if I, if I run it down to about one-third its normal speed. It doesn't normally get hot. Uh, it runs pretty good. Uh, I don't lose a whole lot of horsepower, but it still cuts well. Um, however, with the tree, I'm not going to have to slow things down to be able to make the, uh, the cuts that I need. So uh, the Gordon will be going away. We had to kind of weasel it off to the side to get the tree in. Um, so it really wasn't, I didn't really have it set up to operate here, but he needed the work done. It was almost all in one plane, all on the X. So uh, yeah, bring it over, we hooked it up, got it knocked out. Did have some trouble where we threw the original belt. Um, it's really not used to spinning those kind of speeds. Uh, I very rarely ever have it up here. Um, to give you an idea, this thing really starts screaming. You gotta wonder if it's gonna let go at those kind of speeds. Uh, we had it running for a good long time, and the, uh, the the upper pulley did start to get just a little bit of temperature to it. It wasn't really hot to the touch, but it was a little hotter than ambient. Uh, the spindle really didn't get hot. There's just, I mean, it's just above room temperature now, so. Uh, for as long as we had this spindle cooking at high speed, I think that's doing pretty good. Um, to give you an idea of what it's like on this machine at uh, 12,000 RPM, how long it takes to get up to speed with a soft start uh, variable frequency drive, and then how long it takes to coast down. It's, um, it's really something. Go ahead and release the brake. Um, we'll start the VFD, and that will start the mill. Uh, Again, forgive me for having it over here. I had to take it off the wall and move it so I could plug in the machine in its new location. Um, we'll run it up. Again, 12,000 RPM on the spindle speed. It's a typical 3,600 RPM electric motor. It's just pulley within an inch of that spindle's life. So uh, we'll run it up. And this is about where I normally have it. This I'm a little uncomfortable. This is a little nuts. And it's still going. They don't get up there. It'll run. And it's smooth. A little bit of noise. 
put it back down. Uh, it will close down for quite some time. Uh, the machine actually runs pretty smooth. It may have a little bit of bearing noise in there that may be what we're hearing. Uh, can't really tell. Uh, it's a very seldom ever run this machine up to that speed. I've only done it a few times in the 12 years that I've had it. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a pretty solid little guy. Stop that thing. And uh, I'll go ahead and follow up with a uh, couple passes that I did make on the machine and uh, we'll let you see how it went. Thanks. Okay, this is the Gorton. Uh, we're currently set low speeds 1400, high speed down here 12,000 RPM, and we do have it set high end. Okay, we've got an inch and a quarter uh, routing bit. This is a piece of Coco Bolo that we're working with. And we're going to be going uh, 400 deep on the first pass. Okay, and I was wrong. It's uh, actually Claro Walnut, not Coco Bolo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fire the thing up. Um, let that machine scream to its top speed. And we're going to have the... Uh, shop vac going here to catch some of the dust so uh, if you'll hear some of that noise let's make a pass Full depth of uh, 630, so just uh, just 230 more than where we were. But uh, we'll see what kind of finish we get out of it. And again, we'll be feeding it by hand uh, with a spindle speed of 12,000 RPM. 
We've got to get the machine up to speed. Really not used to that speed. And this is the finish we received. Nice, smooth, very clean. It uh, did put some burning marks in there, but it kind of adds to the uh, to the flavor of the wood. It actually looks kind of neat. And since this is going to be a uh, personal project for the gentleman with me, it should be... Uh, he likes it. That's all that matters. But we're looking pretty good, and uh, we'll get in there and finish it off now. Thanks. And this is the finish cut for the barrel channel. Uh, this is all we're going to be doing on the mill. And the rest of this is going to go back to him to be hand fit for the, uh, for the rest of the striker action and barrel. So, another roughed up handgun stock. <laughs> 